Well, hello there. My name is Mark Johnston and I do STEM education. I'm super excited to be with you guys today because I'm going to show you something brand spanking new. Hardly anybody knows about it. Uh, I'm lucky enough to have stumbled across it and to be able to share it with you guys. And so it's called the VR Skills. And so today I'm going to be showing you the VRC, the VEX uh, Robotics Competition Virtual Robot for the programming skills for the new 2021-2022 game, Tipping Point. Wow. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and look at it. Well, uh, is this song widely known? Or... All right, first place I want you to go to is vrskills.vex.com, vrskills.vex.com, and check the description uh, for the links below. Uh, and so with that, it'll take you to this uh, splash page, the VRC VR Skills, VRC VR Skills. It's going to be hard to say, but I got it. All right, basically, uh, this is going to take you step by step everything that you need in order to uh, do the VR skills. The very first thing you do need, and I think this this might be a bummer for some people, is you have to have a team registered with REC. You're not going to be able to access this unless you have a team registered with REC. If you're looking for an online robotics thing that is free, I would really recommend you go to vr.vex.com. And I have a plethora of videos on vrvex.com. Uh, so if you have a team registered, then you're going to get a key that you use to log in. And uh, everything else here is, is good information, takes you to knowledge base articles. It explains how to get in there, how to get it going. And then this number four down here for teachers, uh, you get a link to skills lessons. These are excellent. Uh, I've, I've been through the first couple of them and, uh, I mean, this, this is all very, very new. Like I just got, uh, my eyes on this yesterday. Uh, and so I've been going through it as much as I could. Uh, I do have a day job, but, uh, and then here is uh, teachers resources. So things like, uh, how it aligns with, uh, computer science standards, how it aligns with, or how you get a pacing guide and all that kind of stuff. Great, great teacher stuff right there. Well, let's go ahead and jump into it, okay? So we're going to go to codev5.vex.com. Codev5.vex.com. That is where all the magic happens, all right? So I went ahead and pulled it up. I got codev5.vex.com. Okay, so let's look at this uh, beautiful, beautiful thing here. Looks so much like vr.vex.com, which is actually wonderful. Because if you've been watching any of my videos on how to do uh, vr.vex.com, you're gonna feel right at home, super comfortable here. Uh, the first thing that I recommend that you do is click File, New Virtual Skills Blocks Project. And look at that. Notice that's New Virtual Skills Text Project is grayed out. Uh, that looks like it's going to be available in the future. So right now we just have blocks, which is fine. We'll deal with that. Um, but in the future, you will probably be able to do text. I don't see why they would have put it there if it's not going to be something available in the future. And then just like VR, uh, you load from your device. Um, there's some really great examples. And actually, since I'm just showing this off, I'm not going to write any code uh, in this video. I'm just going to pull up one of the examples so you can see it. Um, because a lot of people aren't going to be able to see this until they have a, a team registered with REC and it's able to log in. So I'll go ahead and click on open examples and let's just do balance to score. I think that one's pretty cool. And of course it's saying, Hey, you already have a program, which I don't. So I just click discard and there you go. I get this 
program already loaded. It's got this nice little post-it note right here that tells me the starting position, where it has to face, all that kind of stuff. So I'll click on virtual skills up here in the upper right. Uh, in VR, that would be like playgrounds, but here it's the virtual skills. And mine, because I was already messing with this, I was already logged in, it's gonna go right to the login. It skips right past the login because my team is already logged into uh, in this instance. What it would look like for you, I mean, you'll you'll see it if you just go to codev5.vex.com. It's going to ask you for your team number and your key. Uh, you get the key at robotevents.com. Um, so you log into robotevents.com. You know, if you're a coach, and then you go where your teams are listed, and it shows the key right there. It's real simple. Uh, and then you just type in your team number. In my case, 79915X, and then uh, I put in the, the key that is on the site. Uh, and so then it gets me right here. Okay, so I can see the representation, a down view of the field right there. And um, now my post-it note here says the program is designed for position D. There it is, position D. And then notice there's four different directions I can I can... I can uh, face my robot. And so it says facing north towards the blue platform. So I'll do that. And then I'll click confirm and you can see my robot appears there, right there. Let's expand this because this is really cool. I think it's a lot of fun to watch it. So I'm gonna show you that there's a couple different views like there is in VR. Uh, I haven't had a ton of time to mess with these, but here you go. We're on the down view right now. Then you've got this view right here, which sticks with your robot. You can click and drag. You can use your mouse wheel to scroll in and out. All right. There's also this view right here, which is kind of like uh, an aerial camera, I think. It kind of uh, follows the rope, follows the field, like region of the field. So you can kind of see more what's going on at that, at that time. So let's stick with that view right now and go ahead and click play. It'll execute the code that we have. See that fork going down? Here we go. Get that thing out of the way. Drop it. I'm gonna use that fork to drop the platform and then drive up onto it. And do we have a balance? Yes, we do. And so take a look at this uh, heads up display here. You got 60 seconds. So. I don't know a lot of the details of the competition or the rules and how everything's submitted or anything, but I know that you got 60 seconds. So uh, this is a programming skills and you'll notice that I got 30 points. Um, it follows all the, the scoring guidelines of the game. And so the fact that I have a balanced robot there uh, or a, a robot on the um, teeter totter and it's balanced, uh, notice that it says blue is level and then red is grounded. Anytime that teeter-totter one side is touching the mat, it's considered grounded. All right, so the end of the skills match for the Warriors. Notice score is 30 points. And then notice that submit score is coming soon. So right now, I can't submit this score um, for consideration. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of questions. Um regarding this and uh, I, I trust that REC Foundation will um, do their best to ensure that it is a lot of fun, um, that it helps kids to show um, their skills and represent uh, what they can do. As far as I, but for right now, what I can tell is if you use this robot, which is the hero bot that they just, they just, um, they released for this challenge, you could build this and you'd probably want to get the, uh, I don't even know if you can buy it right now, the the notice the AI, um, the GPS, the game positioning system, uh, the QRs or whatever those are called, fiducials or something that are all the way around the perimeter of the, of the field. And then there's this eye here, this camera here uses like computer vision that can tell where it is uh, on the field. So it has an X and a Y cord, uh, coordinate system wherever it is on the field. Pretty amazing 
uh, stuff. And so let's go ahead and try another example. So we'll say open examples. Let's do, uh, say, uh, pick up and, oh, no, let's do pre preloads so I can show you how that works. So score preloads in a mobile goal. I'll select that. Uh, all right. So we've got position D again, facing Northwest. And this is a really good way to keep notes for when you're writing a program um, so that you remember which position you're in and notice that each position has like four different directions it can be pointed in. Uh, and so that's indicated by the red line here and you just click on one of the black lines to change it. So this is the neutral uh, mobile goal, that yellow one. So that's where it wants it pointed. So I'll click confirm and here it goes. You switch my views while it's doing that. Oh, I screwed up. <laughs> All right. Well, if that happens, just click stop. And let me show you how I screwed up. I'll click retry. This little location button right here, or it's, you know, it's like a little map pin. If you click on that, it'll bring up the starting configuration again. And so while I did select the right position and the right direction, I didn't put my preloads on there. Preloads are the objects you're allowed to put on the robot before uh, anything begins. So I can put two rings on the left fork. So if you go over here, it says choose preloads. I can put two rings on the left fork. And notice that it grays out the two on the right because it looks like you can only have um, three preloads. So you can arrange them however you want them on here. So they just gonna have two on the left and then I'll confirm. And so there we go. Now I have preloads on there ready to go. So I'll go ahead and push play. And it should dump those in there for me. Oh no, one fell out. Oh, <laughs> and it's floating there. So there's some, some interesting stuff happens with the physics. Notice it did score it for me. It did consider it a, a point because uh, I get 20 for that being in there. And uh, I get uh, uh, two for each of the little, uh, I'm going to call them donuts. I'm not going to call them rings. Uh, two of the donuts that are in there, I get uh, points for. All right. I think that's about it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy it, please go ahead and click that like button. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell. If this was interesting to you, I'm going to be putting out more videos and you want to get notified, people. So thanks so much. Make sure you visit my site, mjstem.com, and uh, sign up for my mailing list. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this. Please leave a comment. All right. Have a good one. Bye-bye.